This is going to be the only video you ever need to watch to understand what scalping is in the stock market and how you can take advantage of it on short-term basis, guys, on an intraday basis. We love to scalp around here. Let's talk about scalping and give these people what they want, and that is to understand how to do it better. The first thing uh, we need to do here, guys, is define what is scalping when it comes to trading and specifically on a short-term basis. What is scalping exactly? It, it, it's an important definition here because, it, it, like most, it can mean a couple of things. And for the most part, it, it's going to mean making sort of micro trades. And, and the best way to think about that is uh, if a stock has a regular range of like 2 or 3% on a day, you're taking a fraction of that, 10th of a percent. 20th of a percent. I mean, if it has a dollar range in the day, five cent move could be enough for scalping. The other thing it will also mean is making multiple trades within a short duration of time. So if it's a short duration trade, I'm talking about seconds, minutes. Um, if, you're if you're holding it for an hour, you're not, you're not a scalp trader. Sometimes if you're holding it for like 30 minutes, you're not even scalping that stock. So we're talking about very, very short duration trades, sometimes on the second level. And then we're talking about small, very small moves as a percentage of average daily range. So those are the two things you're talking about for a scalp trade. And then it's all about putting it into practice, Sean. Yeah, I have a couple different examples. I mean, I consider myself to be a scalper and, um, you know, not with tickets. Uh, I like to go to those games. Good call on Brendan uh, for that one just before we went on the air here. But um, I have AMC here. And although people want to have these diamond hands, um, you know, I'll continue to scalp it. But obviously where this is going now is absolutely ridiculous. So what scalping is, like Neil mentioned there, and if I can maybe just zoom in before you see where this is going, is taking these small wins when they come, right? And it's just, it's about getting in and then getting out as you see it's starting to bump up with momentum. I always use, this is VWAP, so as that's turning upside, we try to take the same direction as where this is. So if, v, if VWAP was on the upside, then we would go down with this. But right now, we're watching AMC. We know this is one of those crazy names. So all we do is we wait. So these bids, these, are, these greens are just buys. So we're getting long, getting long. And then as it starts popping back up here, maybe even if I zoom in even more, you can see a little bit better. But as it pops in here, we have some resistance levels. So scalping requires a big focus on support and resistance levels. So right here, it keeps you know stopping at 19 flat, 19 to end. So when we're long here, 1865 and 19, we get out a little bit here because it comes to 1910, stops, comes again to 1910, comes back down, comes again, stops, back down. So we get out, and then as it starts breaking out, you start to let some of your shares go. So upside, upside, upside. Look at key levels. Here's 1950 right here. So we get out in front of 1950. We actually have a 1950 out. Then we let it run, and then there comes $20. So now, again, I would still love to be long 1869, but I'm not confident that this move is about to happen. So we scalp in and out, in and out, in and out. There's another break at 20. Out, out, out. 2025s, 2050s up there. 2075s, $21. And then we hold. If you're going to scalp, I believe you should hold at least a little bit so you can get some of that win. And thank God this time we do all the way up to 2280. So there's a quick example on AMC. When we come back, I have another one. But Neil talked about minutes. This trade is about 20 executions or so, maybe a little bit less than that in about 30 minutes, maybe even a bit more than that. So there you go, about an execution every couple minutes. That's scalping. You have to watch your fees when you do that. We're lucky enough not to pay any. So taking a bigger overall idea, in this case AMC, with a nice trend in one direction and breaking that down into multiple executions, 20 in fact or more, in that case, on the way up. Now this can also work uh, if the stock is trending to the downside or even stuck in a range. You know, if you have a very defined range that you're working in and out of, and then you can even take a break. That's another topic for another video, though. Let's talk, though, about where we get out if we're wrong. So in this case, you know, we have to understand what our risk is on these smaller time frame trades. People tend to talk about, you know, is it a two to one ratio? Is it a three to one ratio? Is it a 10 to one ratio? If we're scalping, though, guys, it doesn't necessarily need to be that high. Not necessarily, yeah, exactly. It doesn't have to be those types of ratios because the idea with scalping is maybe you win at a higher percentage of your trades and then therefore you don't need that same uh, win-loss win ratio. You can actually lose more uh, when you have your loss. Now, uh, I want to just quickly identify one trade here and I'll go as fast as I can through where you find these levels. And this happens to be BlackBerry. Previous day's top at 960. Uh, we then zoom into this morning. Uh, Pre-market level uh, is 960. Now, 
Momentum is to the downside when that breaks. If I'm concerned with that 960 level and I have a long bias, let's just say, which I happen to here, I wait for it to reclaim this level, and then that's going to be a breakout trade. Now, when I'm, because I identified this as a scalp trade, it was a huge resistance at $10, uh, we saw it in the pre-market, and then you had the opening range at 980. That gives 20 cents worth of an actionable trade. You also had this little support here at VWAP at 50. Uh, so I kind of know where my out is going to be. I'm taking profit into it halfway through and then into that top. That way, when it comes back down and I play inside the range, I can get back into this trade. This is a minute chart. So four or five minutes later, I'm getting right back in. I'm exiting in, in, in front of the top. And then four or five minutes later, closer to 10, I'm playing this range one more time. Now, this is another key. The more times you get in and out of a position off of a key level like this, more people are seeing the trend, more people are noticing that level. Likely there are more longs that are playing that same game as you so that when it eventually breaks, you've got to think about, do I take as many shares the second, third, fourth, or fifth time that I'm scalping off of the same level? I tend to always pare down. It should be your best position off the first or two times. Uh, that last time through, you can also consider reversing. I happen to here. That is a totally different ball game. But the key is I'm getting out at the top end of that range. I can hold a core position. I can tighten my stop. I can do those things. But I'm always looking to reload. And that means taking profit inside of that 20, 20 cent range. It's great to identify a range. It gives you an idea both where to get in and to get out. Just be careful, third, fourth, fifth time through playing a level like that. You want to be, make sure you run for the hills when the game is over. And when it comes to actual risk management, Sean has another example to uh, run us through. Yeah, exactly. I, I just want to talk about Snowflake here because today I think was a good example of a little bit of a longer time period for scalping. Scalping doesn't have to be minutes like we are giving it. You know, you could extend it out a little bit. This is just one day. Snowflake comes with, you know, what I thought was a decent report, but the market didn't like it in the first place. 236 down to 218, and then it battles back. The first, very first trade that we took was a long break here of 228. So we like that break. It goes upside, then we just let it fall down. We pick in our spots. We're using this 218 as our out, right? So what I'm going to do is try to scalp this position off, and you're going to see what happens here. So we get long, we average, average in. That's about it for me. So three averages in, I think that's very important for a scalp. We talked about having key levels and having your out and understanding your risk. So for me, well worth the risk, downside down here, okay? But this is what happens. All of a sudden... You know, we're holding this, we're holding this. We, we basically get a bottom tick here of 222, okay? As it comes back, you're going to see it. Maybe I could zoom in. It's just on a three minutes so you can see the whole move here. We stopped a bunch of times here at 224, 225 before fading back in. So I don't want to turn this trade even into a worse one. So we got to make some money on the way back up. So if you're going to scalp, you're not always going to get the best out, okay? Sometimes you need to sort of protect some of the capital and some of the gains that you have or limit the losses. So we take out a quarter of our trade right here at 224, 225, I believe. Yeah, 224 right there for a decent win. Our average price after all of this is 225.50. Okay, then it breaks through VWAP. That's a position that we like, and then bang, we get that out for flat. So now we're riding this ups upside trend here with half of our position. So we scalped out of half here, okay, for a loss, but now we're riding this to the upside. We're able to take this for a nice three dollar win up to 228, get out as it falls back down. We get a little nervous that we're going to retrace. That turns out to be a great out because we get out, and now we are still holding a quarter of this position. So we've scalped out some wins here, protected some of our downside near this VWAP, and now we let this guy just ride all the way up. And guess what? My out is coming right now. So if we break back down below, you see upside, 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 big explosion. If we break down below here, 239.78, we're gonna finish our scalp and get out. So this took a little longer than minutes, we're in an hour here, a little bit more than that, as we extend out. But the point is, we're out of our primary position, and sometimes scalp trades can turn into these ones. You don't expect to get a $19 winner, but this is turning out to be that way, and this is a scalp turned a little bit longer, Brendan. All right, so one of the most common questions we get when it comes to scalping is around, what do you scalp? Okay, so what, what type of stock is the best kind of stock to scalp trade? Now, guys, let's get your opinions on this. Uh, real quick, just to wrap things up here, if you had to identify one type of stock, and I mean, you can give me a symbol here if you want, but what are we looking for? Is it the AMCs of the world? Is it the 
Netflix uh, of the world, what kind of stock is it that we want to yeah. sell? Let me just take High this. Volume. You know, I'll take it because I mean, I covered AMC right away. So I think you just got to take a stock that has movement, right? Uh, Neil was talking about BlackBerry. The meme stocks are popular right now. If you don't have movement and you don't have this, guys, volume, then then you're not going to have any sort of opportunity to scalp like this. If you take a stock that's maybe not moving as much today, let's go to like AMD, uh, something like that. We can have a quick look there. You know, this doesn't give us the opportunities. I mean, here's the market open, right? There's not too many opportunities here to go back and forth. There's really no key levels. It's up and down and around. You'll probably get stopped out a little bit more than you're being able to hold for something. I'm not really seeing too much of a direction. It's bouncing around VWAP. So I would say increased volume you need and you need to have a catalyst Neil Couldn't absolutely guys we'll wrap it up at that you need to have a catalyst you need to have a directional move and then we're looking for those really really tight small moves to take advantage of with scalping I hope you enjoyed that one and learned something guys hit the like and subscribe here's Valeria hey guys thank you for this helpful information dear viewers please subscribe to this channel to see more great videos